Hello, in this video I want to give you a short introduction on the very basic navigation features of iCloud. Although iCloud features very sophisticated task planning mechanisms, it still is extremely simple to navigate from one point to the other. If we simply want to navigate to one point somewhere, we have two basic options. The first basic option is to navigate to this point through the menu. The second option is to navigate to it through the map. The first thing I want to show you is how to find a point in the menu. If we enter the menu we have two different options. The first one is the direct to option and the second one is the nearest airport option. The nearest airport list as the name says gives you a list of the closest airports to your current location and this one is sorted by distance. So for example you can see the closest one which is the upper one and then you can scroll down and see all the airports in your vicinity. The second option we have, the direct to page, gives you access to um, all of the stored um, airports in the database you have activated and you can simply scroll through them, they are sorted alphabetically and you can also search for certain airports like for example this one right here. If you tap on an airport no matter if in direct to list or in the nearest list, you um, get to a page where additional information to this airport is shown. Additional information, for example, is the elevation, runways, radio stations, and also, for example, your current arrival altitude at the airport. Now, if we want to navigate to this airport, very easy, simply tap on the direct to button in the upper right hand corner and you can navigate to this airport. In this case, it is a very close one right here. The route is planned from your current position to the airport, as you can see with the magenta line. The second option we have on planning simple direct to routes is on the map, of course. We can also directly choose a destination on the map. To do this, we simply tap on the map, a contextual menu appears which gives us certain options and it also gives us the possibility to again enter a detailed page of the airport we tapped on and we can again simply tap on the direct to button to navigate there. So as you can see it is extremely easy to select a destination and to navigate to a destination whether it is on the map or through the menu. Thank you very much for watching. If you want additional information make sure to check out our other videos on our YouTube channel or have a look at our website at www.butterfly.arrow.